What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Legends Arceus discussion video. Now this video is coming out at a weird time. This is going to be before my impression video as well as before my first reaction gameplay and basically coverage of Pokemon Legends Arceus kind of starts of the game being officially released. I did want to have this quick discussion with you guys because I've seen this thread on Twitter. I'm gonna have it linked in the description as well as the pin comment on this video so you guys can jump into the conversation as well. And as you guys read by the title of this video, for the first time ever, the Kanto starters of Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle are not coded in a mainline series Pokemon game. Now this is a huge deal for a number of reasons. First thing I want to say is no, this is not a hate video towards the Kanto starters. I love them. My first game was Pokemon Red, obviously having picked Charmander, played that game to death, played Blue to death, played with Squirtle a couple of times, had my run with Bulbasaur when Leaf Green came out on the GBA. So I've ran through Kanto with all the starters, including Pikachu with Pokemon Yellow, my favorite Pokemon game, and let's go. Pikachu and Eevee. But to me, this is amazing. This is a black and white moment inside of the Pokemon franchise where to me, even if the developers at the Pokemon company didn't choose for them to be in the game intentionally, the fact that they're not in the game <laughs> kind of shows that they are willing and willing to try different things to try different Pokemon and not rely on the Charizards and the Squirtles of the world. I also bring up Pokemon Black and White because I know people are gonna bring up that and say, hey, technically they weren't in Black and White. You could technically move them over into that game and so they were in the codings. So we technically count them as being in that game. Whereas in Pokemon Legends Arceus, there's no data at all for those Pokemon outside of the Pokedex. That's because they did a lot of new animations and redid a lot of the Pokemon for this game in particular, that a lot of the stuff is just brand new to the game. And I gotta applaud Game Freak where the where, where it has to be applauded because this to me is a huge step for a Pokemon game for many of reasons. And I think this is a not only an accomplishment, but something that we should all be happy that Game Freak is willing to expand. And I think this should be applauded because I believe that Game Freak is out here trying to grow the Pokemon franchise in ways that breaks barriers as far as when it comes to the Pokemon available in the game. I know we all wanna see all 800, 900 plus Pokemon in a Pokemon game and be able to catch them all in one area. But if you think about it in a Pokemon world sense, that kinda doesn't make sense if all of the Pokemon, diverse as they are, are just randomly found in one area of the planet or whatever the case may be. So I do like the fact that there are some regional variants sometimes that you're gonna have some Pokemon only in you know, the Alolan Islands and stuff like that. Some Pokemon only found in Galar. I appreciate that. And I also do appreciate when they reach outside of the general quote unquote Charmanders of the Pokedex. You know, kind of spice it up a little bit. Now people are saying that when Pokemon Home launches, this could potentially change. And what I want to say is to that is, yes, technically it can change, they could update Pokemon Legends Arceus and add the Cantonian starters to the game. However, I don't think that's gonna be the case when Pokemon Home launches anyway. I think Pokemon Home is gonna launch and it's gonna be kind of similar to how Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, where you could take the Pokemon and move them into Pokemon Home, but if they touch another game, they're not gonna be able to move back into Legends Arceus. I think we're gonna see that same thing happen here. So we can move some of the exclusive Pokemon to this game over to the newer game later on down the line so they won't get left behind. But I don't think we're gonna be able to bring, you know, Charmander into Pokemon Legends Arceus unless we do get DLC that adds them to the game. Because again, they currently unavailable in the game by the coding. There's nowhere in the game's code that has Charmander, Bulbasaur, and the Squirtle lines 
in the game. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, and best believe I'm going to be doing a ton of Pokemon Legends Arceus coverage right here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one